right. I think we're about live. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, welcome to Art During the Quarantine. I am Meg. Wow. Okay, so I just am out on this patio to film this video and it just started going crazy with the weather. So um, hopefully if you're watching this, you can live vicariously through this rainstorm. I'm so excited um, to get to share this art activity with you today. Um, I believe it's day 43, if I'm not mistaken, um, which is crazy. Let me pray for us and I'll tell you what we're going to do today. God, thanks so much for the power we see um, that you have just even in what we're experiencing right now. This thunder and this rain is so, so amazing. Thank you for it. I pray for every person watching that you would be near to them today and um, you'd give them what they need to um, to thrive in this season. Lord, we love you. Amen. Sweet. Welcome. It's so good to have you. Um, hopefully this stream is working. I don't know because the internet might be a little, a little flaky, but we'll do our best. So today I'm so excited because if you've known me probably longer than a week, you know that on a daily basis or at least a weekly basis, I often just eat tortillas plain because they're fabulous. Um, but I was challenged this week to maybe consider tortillas in a different light. And so that's what I'm going to do today. I thought, well, we can do art with tortillas. So um, in the spirit of making the snack platters, we are going to make some aesthetic tortillas, a little bit Spanish style, not the tortilla tortilla that you might make in a pan, but working with just typical tortillas. And I'm going to work with um, like a salsa tomate frito sauce, which is basically like red sauce. And um, through a couple folding um, folding and processes, we're going to make some cool tortillas. So what you're going to need to do, just grab a tortilla like this. I love tortillas because they also look like the moon and there's something very calming about that. Um, so take the tortilla, you're going to fold it in half like this, kind of as much as you can fold a tortilla. Deal. Oh, the rain's calming down. Okay. Hopefully I don't have to yell at the screen anymore. Okay. So I've got a half moon here and then you're going to fold it into fourths. Okay, here's where the fun part, the fun part is because you are going to be using your teeth as your mark making tool um, to create this snowflake form tortilla. I did a couple practicing today and um, I'll, all I have to say is everyone is incredibly different, just like snowflakes that fall from the sky. So give yourself grace if the first one doesn't work out. Um, but basically the way I start off with is I go towards the edge and I'm just gonna do one bite mark like this to sort of round the corner. So you can do that with me if you have a tortilla or if this is just comedic therapy for you, you can laugh while I bite in front of the camera. Okay, so there we go. We've got that one down. Now I am going to do another mark on the other side of the tortilla on this corner. Hello to Minnesota. Hello, mama. Um, oh, wow. This is awesome. Okay. We're going to continue bite marks on this side. Like this. Like that. Okay. So here's where the variety can really kick in. If you would like to, you can create sort of an inverted scallop edge on the very top of your tortilla through a couple bite marks here, here, and here, or you can split it up and do, <laughs> you could use scissors, so true. I figured I just kind of go with the eating approach, but if you want to get out scissors and literally cut up your tortilla, all the power to you, why not? Um, I'm gonna do two bite marks, one here and one here to kind of create that faux scallop edge. And um, keep in mind if your tortillas have like a variety of edges right here, <laughs> Mom, um, you might have to um, adjust where you bite on your tortilla to make the, make the marks even. Or if you want to just embrace the variety, that's great too. Okay, so I'm going to do one here and one here. It's hard because I have to wait in the time in between. Maybe the rain is a blessing. You don't hear me chewing. I don't know. Okay, one more left. Perfect. Okay, so not perfectly balanced, but pretty close. Okay, so now comes the fun part where um, you get to decide how you want the shape in the middle of your tortilla to end up looking because we folded it and here's the very middle. Um, I like to do sort of like an almond shape. So I'm going to kind of do a bite mark this way. Oh, sorry, it's inverted this way and down like this. But if you want a perfect circle, obviously you would just bite a, a quarter of a circle technically. So go like this. Mm -hmm -hmm. Wow, there's like a battle going on about whether or not you should use scissors or not. That's hilarious. Okay. I also think a pizza cutter would be good. So if you have a cutting board, you can put it down and like 
really get some intricate carving going on. I'm just gonna kind of go more the basic route, but for my advanced students, you just you just let the wind take you. Okay, I'm gonna elongate this line just a little bit more, like this, like that. Okay, this is advanced. We are gonna cut, not cut, we're gonna fold it into eighths. So fold it like this. The tighter you can get this line, the better. Like this. Okay, I got some affirmation on the pizza cutter. Maybe that's the, the neutralizing factor here. This is great. Okay, so what you wanna do is you can bite on this, on this side fold, but be careful that you don't like go through all the way on this side, or it's kind of gonna be the same approach as cutting out a, um, a snowflake and like it can't really hold itself up. We want the tortilla to be self-sufficient. So um, I'm just gonna do a mark in the middle, similar to kind of like that almond shape like I showed you earlier, and then we'll unfold it and see how we did. Okay, perfect. So back into fourths, unfolding it into halves, unfolding it into the full one Woohoo! look at that okay so immediately looking at this i think i need to do something with these lines so i'm gonna fold it back up real quick sometimes that's what happens you just have to go back i'm gonna get some i'm gonna do another maybe two bite marks on this line that are really small and then we'll be ready to start painting mm -hmm -hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Perfect. Oh yeah, just a little bit of visual interest to kind of keep it going. I also think this type of tortilla design could work if you were to transfer it to pie crust and be potentially very effective for making unique designs on a pie crust. Would it be weird that you bit off half the crust? Probably, but I think it could be really cool. Okay, so taking your <laughs> tortilla, you're gonna put it flat on the counter. I just got on the plate here, just like this. And um, you're just basically going to take the sauce and um, I have a really, really fine paintbrush. You can do whatever you prefer, but essentially, um, essentially you're going to, um, we're going to trace starting with the inside of the tortilla. We're going to paint perimeters on each of the bite marks that you have created on your tortilla. I got neighbors looking at me funny, I think. Like they sometimes open this window and I think they hear, I think they hear English. So they're like, Ooh, what is that? And I'm like, hey, just giving an art lesson out here. Okay. So I'm going to turn this tortilla towards you. I'm going to essentially just paint the perimeter really, really lightly. Put this tomate frito. If you have salsa, that would work. Guacamole would work. If you want to like straight out, make this your dinner, all the power to you. So this is what I got so far. Now, if you really want this color to pop, you're going to have to layer it. As with salsa, you might want to blend it a little before you start. It's totally up to you. Okay, we're just going to keep going. If you're looking at your tortilla and you're thinking, maybe I need to go back and add some more marks, do that. It's way easier to do it before painting. I also really would recommend um, a brush you haven't used with paint yet, just for chemicals. So if you're planning to eat this afterwards, um, you don't accidentally introduce something you don't intend to your tummy. Okay. So I've got this perimeter, just like that. Lovely. I can go over it again if I'd like to, or if you'd like to move on, you totally can as well. Just kind of like we did with the mandalas at the very, very beginning, if you watched the first art lesson I did, um, we basically are going to go in rings. So what I'm going to do is actually apply some of those same um, design and pattern principles to this tortilla, which um, I think is possibly maybe the most art teacher thing I have said. I don't even know how long. Um, so I'm going to start with um, just doing those really, really simple petals um, that kind of typically circle, I want to say like the second or third ring of most mandalas. So let me show you how. I'm gonna do one facing me so I don't lead you astray. Okay. Lovely. Hopefully it is um, beautiful weather where you are. I'm hoping the sun will maybe pop back out. That would be nice. Okay, so that's that first petal form like that. Cool. So I'm going to continue that all around this entire almond shape in the very middle. And we'll just keep talking as we go. I'm going to move these tortillas down so I can be closer to the camera here. Um, awesome. 
thing. We've had um, a lot of hail here actually recently, which is crazy because um, of talking to some people that have worked here for a while, that's not like very typical. They haven't even seen it yet um, quite as bad as we've had it. So I don't know if uh, during the quarantine, the Lord is like, ooh, watch me just like dress up all the weather. <laughs> Let's make it fun. Um, why not? Okay. So we're continuing onward. I think we might even have another front coming in. Wow. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So that's where we are. Just going to continue working our way around. If you're getting hungry, that's probably what is supposed to happen. Stay strong. Don't give in. Waste only really like maybe two minutes till you get enough sauce on there, maybe. <laughs> cool. Again, a reminder, if the sauce you're using is lighter like mine, um, I successfully totally weirded out the, the neighbors that just walked by. I think they're like, mm, maybe I pray for her. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll invite them to the next class. We'll like paint on pancakes or something. Um, yes. Okay. So working our way around. How's yours going? I'm sure yours looks even better than mine. Um, the great thing about these is that they'll all be different. Let me see if I can turn my camera so you can just see it while I'm working. It's a little bit of a balancing act. The plate is a new component. Today, we're straying away from the uh, the paper we've been using recently as our kind of um, sustained material. So it's a nice way to, um, yeah, try something new, try something new out. So it's week five of long distance learning. Um, I know this week we're like just end in April peaking into the month of may kind of crazy to imagine okay we've got the first ring of the mandala done folks we're doing quite fabulous if i do say so um myself next ring so because it's um an almond shape it doesn't exactly lend itself perfectly to doing a full ring around but what you can do is add dots in between each of the petals so that's what i'm going to do next i'm going to apply um quite a bit of paint like that or <laughs> sauce like that and just quickly add some dots. Cool, just like that. Great. Wow, the weather really calmed down. I don't have to yell anymore. This is awesome. I do, I do have a good outside voice, but it's nice to not have to use it while like giving art instructions, you know. Okay, question of the day is it's going to be a tortilla related question, obviously, because we have a tortilla on the plate here. Um, question of the day is tortillas or tortilla chips when it comes to eating like tacos or Mexican food. What is your preference? I guess it could be any really Central and South American food. Now that I think about it. That's what I got so far. Let me know. I think in the moment, obviously, I'm feeling tortillas, but truly, I'm a girl who can never, never resist chips. So maybe I have to side with that after how many tortillas I've eaten today. Okay, so we've got the first kind of two rounds of designs on my tortilla. Next, I am going to move towards these four shapes I have in the corners. Um, I'm going to continue by just doing that same outlining I did on the first one, being sure to just make sure those lines are super dark or as dark as tomato sauce maybe can lend itself. I know that, that question, tortillas or chips, would be a very dividing question at home because actually after, I think, being at college for like two years, I came home once and I was talking to my younger sister and I was telling her about how I was eating tortillas one day or something came up. Um, and we realized we'd been doing the same, had the same like go-to snack food for years and we've both never known so tortillas for the win i think they woo hearts no matter where you're from or where in life you are that's so can chips so really i mean i don't know maybe we're all a lost cause with this who knows okay let's see here i don't think i've ever looked at a tortilla this long before i've eaten it this is impressive okay two done two to go i'm gonna rotate the plate Okay. Great. I was so curious if um, 
know what my students are going to say about this this lesson because I think they thought they'd seen the last of Miss Shirley's weird ideas, but fear not, they keep coming. No worries. My goal is to keep them on their toes the best I can and to feed them in class if, if possible. That always keeps keeps some interest <laughs> going on, especially during like the quarantine, right? Okay, so continuing onward, getting this last one outlined. Okay. Great. I don't know if anybody in the States, we don't really do this, but in Spain, it's a very common thing. It's a so that's called tomate frito, and we have it on like everything, bread, I don't even know, rice, chicken, everything. And it is so good. I used to be very like, not critical, but I think I just used to be like, like, what's the point of that? Like, why would you use that? And then I tried it, I think I tried it like a couple weeks ago on, I think just like regular chicken or something. And I was like, where has this been all of my life? This is awesome. So, so good. Okay, got those all outlined. We're going to do um, what's called a line and a dot. It sounds like just just like what it is. I'm going to do a line coming out from the form and a dot on top. I'm going to vary. I'll turn it towards you so you can see. It's going to vary in height, and that is perfectly fine. Like this. I'll show you an example a little bit closer. Perfect. You're going to do those around those almond forms line and then a line with a dot you might start looking like eyelashes <laughs> on the round of, on the outside of your forms which is kind of fun why not okay sweet if you've made it this far this means that you have successfully not eaten the tortilla and it's been what oh my gosh it's been over 10 minutes it's impressive very very impressive Okay, so with this form, especially, I'm going to start to bud up to the lines that I already drew. So you can end them just closest to the, the outside of this ring um, as you're working around those almond shapes. If yours are close like mine, if yours are different, of course, you, you make the call. Um, I trust you. Lovely. Oh, you guys, tortillas deserve this attention all along. Where have we been? Where have we been? Okay, I've got that one done. Um, instead of doing this on each of those, I think I'm going to skip over um, and do the almond shape across the way from it. So I'll turn my plate towards you. Do the same line and dot technique. Again, we're buddying up to those um, that border, those lines there. So do your best to make whatever decision makes sense. Lovely. Okay. Great. Uh, this weekend was a monumental, monumental one in the country of Spain because it was the first, was it yesterday, the day before, it was the first day kids were allowed to go outside in, I believe, 42, 42 43 days. Um, so it was really exciting. Um, Fun to hear all like little kid voices outside and made me miss my students a lot. Also was thrilled to see pictures of them out and about. Okay, so again, we've got those two. With this now, I'm just gonna do a couple more rings, just really simple rings painted around, and then we'll treat the corners with some other dots and uh, I think we'll call it a day here. So um, yeah, it was really fun to yeah, to see kids out, to, I can't imagine being inside that long. Just kill me, kill me, kill me. I'm an adult and it makes me sad, you know. I can't imagine, imagine being that young. So I've got another couple lines I'm going to do here. If you can keep the widths between them consistent, you'll be happy. But truthfully, anything, anything that looks right to you, go for it. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Great. Like that. I 
Okay, you know the drill. We're going to go to this other side. Flip it around. Great, 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 great. Now I can hear kiddos playing around the block. I love it. Earlier today, it whizzed past me um, when I was at a staff meeting on scooters, like flying, flying outside, um, just screaming and yelling. And um, I was just so thrilled. I was like, oh, they get to be outside for the first time in forever. It's so good. I hope they might be coming back now. You might get to hear them yourself. You never know. Perks of a patio, folks, right there. Okay. Last line here. Oh. Just feel like I should have given tortillas as much attention all this time. So good. Okay. So now I've got this fun offset pattern. What I'm going to do in each of these corners is just add um, a half circle and a dot facing the flat corner. Let me show you what I mean. Like this. Need a little more, a little more sauce there. Like that on each corner. And um, this one, obviously, some of my marks I'll go all the way to the edge. So obviously I won't do it there, but I'll do them all the rest of them. I have some space. How's your tortilla? Is it still full or partly eaten? or painted maybe. Okay. So good. Awesome. Okay. I do have to say it's starting to really feel like a warm season here. I I was um, working at a grocery store the other day and I was like, whoa. It does not feel like winter or even really spring anymore. It's starting to really feel like summer, which is both exciting and frightening because it's very warm here um, in the summertime. Okay, we'll keep moving. Hopefully your semicircles and dots are going great. I think I got at least one or two good ones that I like. My brush is getting a little bit thicker with <laughs> so much tomato sauce on it. So a little bit less precision, but that's okay art therapy after all we're not going after crazy results especially with something you can eat for goodness sake okay oh so good okay the last thing i was as i was looking at this from above is that these almonds didn't get any attention so what i would like to do is just quickly outline those and um maybe we'll see once we get them outlined if they decide to speak to us in a different way actually i already got it so um, some of my petals actually line up with some of the, the tops of the almond form. So I'm going to let those lines from the top of the petal bleed through and I'm going to connect them kind of like, I think, Cleopatra eye paint. Okay. And I'm going to drag this line off the edge like that. Just makes it feel a little more finished, I think. I do the same thing over here. I'm going to rotate this plate. I've got a little piece that didn't quite get to bite off. I'm going to take that off real quick. Sweet. So again, I'm just going to outline those almond shapes coming from the top of that form. With that petal in the first ring that we did. Looking so good. Connect them. And drag the line off. So so fun. Okay, y'all, this is our final product. We have successfully created and painted our own tortilla snowflakes. Quite honestly, at the very maybe beginning of summer, we're doing it. fabulous. Um, if you made it this far, now you can reward yourself with a fun snack, depending on what you painted on <laughs> your tortilla. <laughs> might taste great, might taste not so great, but um, I hope you had a blast. This is our final product. Let me pray for you and bless you, and um, you can go on in this day. Lord, thank you for these people. I just thank you for um, your heart, which is so fun. And thank you that um, even when we're in quarantine, you can give us ideas to still enjoy the world you've made and still seek your heart. God, we love you. Amen. 
It's been a gift to be with you. I hope you have a fabulous afternoon here in Spain or a great day here in the States. Take care. Bye.